Hello, welcome back to the uh, VRTV, formerly the LRTV. Good bit of news today, Eugene has uh, been accepted for the UTC in Norwich City. The UTC is a university technical college and uh, this is set up with uh, specifically aimed at getting teenagers into engineering. Um, it's on Hall Road in Norwich and uh, what Eugene will be doing is uh, starting at year 10 which is when he's 14 and uh, he'll either be staying for two or four years. Two years onto an apprenticeship or four years onto an advanced apprenticeship so uh, we're not 100% sure what he's going to uh, aim for at the moment. I know um, I've been assessing him over his uh, over the last few years what sort of thing he's interested in and what he's capable of and his mathematics is brilliant he's very good at measurements and he's actually very spot on with measurements he's uh, put me right as you see in uh, a video series we did on the diff setting up the diff he, he got this absolutely spot on in the back here he's going to be uh, setting this up later um, we've got to put some bearings on this and then he's going to set it up and then rebuild the rest of it. That will be for sale, that's had a new set of bearings in it, that will be for sale at some point. Um, yeah, uh, but now we're going to ramp things up. I've got um, certain books that he's uh, going to be learning. Automotive is engineering, whether he goes into automotive or not it doesn't matter. But the IMI uh, training book here that I've got, uh, he's also, I've got welding uh, stuff to do as well. And also we have Electude, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got a subscription out for a year, which cost $100. He's working through the modules bit by bit by bit, and his score rate is actually very high. So we're learning about tools, we'll go on to things like uh, CAN systems later, um, even things like tyres and, and the such like. You know, we just do a module a night, that's fantastic, and he's working through it. You get the theory in his head, do the practice, and then do more practice. The, uh, the UTC, um, yeah, they're... Um, pretty good for uh, employers uh, statistics for getting uh, young people into work there's uh, my company Ford and Slayer or DAF which is a, a DAF uh, franchise there's KLM Airlines which uh, invested in them there's Lotus Cars even Land Rover the RAF and uh, the Royal Engineers are also involved in this college so there's a lot going on with this there's a lot of potential um, for, for him or any child that goes there that gets uh, their good grades to go on to a good future the whole idea is to do course subjects your English maths and that sort of thing science and then they do the basic engineering skills and then they do their optional choices now he's doing optional choices of uh, the Duke of Edinburgh award believe it or not which is quite good that'll get him out and about but he's also advancing with his engineering He's doing an engineering half day a week at college at the moment, which is four hours on a Thursday at our local college, and he really enjoys that. This is the key to it. The school that he goes to, the behavior at the school is horrendous. They, uh, they don't have control. Uh, the teachers there, I'm afraid to say, are very inexperienced. And of course, the headmaster himself, after having Eugene having issues at the school, found he, he actually doesn't have a pair of testicles. Uh, he, he won't put into action uh, anything uh, masculine to bring the chaos back into control. He's just tied by PC politics, yeah, which is not good. Um, so I got him out of there, and that's the main thing. Yeah, he will be a happier bunny. Yeah, I find in my trade, um, heavy goods vehicles, the, 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 the young men that come into our trade, and note the young men, this, next to no females, okay, um, the young men that come in do not have basic engineering skills, they don't know how to weld, they're very, very um, skills lacking in just the basic things like uh, nuts and bolts, um, using tools and uh, removing broken studs and things like that so um, even when it comes to heavy lifting uh, it's left left up to us older guys who are used to that sort of work to, to do that sort of work now i'm trying to eat the apprentices that we get because we get one a year yeah i'm trying to get them interested in certain stuff and I find they're only after the, the uh, narciss narcissistic image of, of being a fitter. Later on, they're coming, the older ones are now coming back to, to guys like me and wanting to learn stuff, which is good. Yeah, 
I'm willing to teach and this is what I'm looking to do in the future, inspire and get a basic level of skill for everybody. And remember, we if we go out of the uh, EU, we're going to have to start working our nuts off in the UK um, to put stuff out there. Yeah, things will change, and hopefully, hopefully for the better. I look at it as a, as a massive change for us, and uh, I, generally, I think the the UK is going to change anyway. So uh, we'll take advantage of whatever we can, and you should too. Yeah. Other thing I want to say just very, very quickly is that everything I've got that I own, anything that was for the uh, VR TV and the LR TV will be sold off. Okay. The idea here is that I will be setting something else up when I get the opportunity to do it. As you've noticed, um, we're on UK Trailer Technician at the moment. There's a lot of stuff in there, but I'm having to do that and smash it out as quick as possible so i'm not going into detail because a i don't have the time b it's very hard to film in that workshop and c i'm also having to work to times because i work for a franchise dealership so we're um we're very time conscious things will change have patience things will change you're changing in your life and i'm changing as well okay but i will aim <coughs> when we get to Norwich is to start to turn things around to, to get more detail into, into the jobs yeah and to uh, get more of an education and insight and everything else uh, relevant to automotive okay so I won't promise it I'll just say this is what I'm aiming for this is what I have in mind um, in the meantime we'll strip everything down jettison everything sell it all off um, set up in Norwich and um, I've got to find employment. Um, I can do a transfer if I want to uh, with the company that I work for and they have a depot in Norwich. Whether I want to work there or not, I don't know. I might just start there and then move on to, to find another job. I don't know. Uh, that's if they'll accept me even. Um, teaching is what I want to do. But generally, I, I need a better income, and this is what I'm aiming to do. However, I get it with with less hours, you know, so I can devote time to him and and to doing this. This will all run concurrent, by the way. Whatever Eugene does, I'll try to put it on the channel if it's relevant. Anything that I teach him, that'll go on the channel. Yeah, you don't need to learn about this transfer box. I've already done a series; it's already nailed. Yeah, if we get the opportunity to to upgrade a transfer box, then I'll do it. Mind is, I will get a, a Discovery or a Defender eventually. Yeah, because I'm still well into Land Rovers. That might take time. Yeah, in the meantime, we've got vehicles to repair to to get us going. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's just a heads up. I'm sorry for talking so long. Um, I'm going to put Eugene on the end here. He's half asleep. But he's just got out of bed. It's still early. I mean, I get up at four o'clock and try to drag him up a bit later, but he's he, he just got out of bed and he's really tired. But um, he is keen on doing this. He wants a change in his life and he is fed up of, of being in classes that were disruptive. You know, like I said, the school doesn't have control fully and the discipline is horrendous. So the school that he's going to will be different and he's a good guy he is genuinely a good guy and he wants to work so we shall see won't we anyway this is eugene and uh, this is me saying uh, goodbye until the next video okay see ya yeah it's gonna be a big change how do you feel about engineering how do i feel about engineering engineering well i'm just trying it out as a skill, having that as a skill in my skill set and I should maybe be able to do jobs after I'm done with the uh, engineering. Do you feel like you'd be able to get into a good engineering position via an apprenticeship? Yes, maybe, most likely. I'm, I don't know, but I'm um, might go for an apprenticeship, maybe not, I'm not sure, I'm just going to, I'm going to first go through it and then I'm going to decide.